Hi, I'm David Artini with Artini and Gems, and I'm here with Don, a real gem hunter. I know I'm kind of a gem hunter, but this guy's the he's he's really the real deal. He lives here on site in Montana, and he mines for sapphires. Don, tell us about the background of this mining area and your involvement. Well, this mining area is known as the El Dorado Bar. Um, process for gold and sapphires from the late 1800s up to the mid 60s I believe um, and we're here on this mine we're basically processing the old dredge tailings and uh, getting the material that they left behind so what happens they take a front-end loader and they load up this hopper with potentially gem bearing gravel and it's going to travel up that conveyor belt and it's going to go into the trumbull and I'll tell you about that in a minute but anyway, it, it goes up this conveyor belt. You can see the gems have been dropped onto that conveyor belt. And it's going to go into the tremel, which is a rotating, uh, basically is a rotating barrel tube and water is squirted in there. And what that does is it begins to sort out and wash out the useless material from any potential gem bearing gravel. So let's go up here now and we'll look and we'll see this next process which involves washing of the of the gravel and there's a jig process to where as the gems come out of that trummel there they go onto this um, onto this next stage where it's washed and the heavy material sinks to the bottom and there's a there's actually a grill underneath that catches it and the rest of the useless material is washed right off and that's uh, because sapphire and gold are heavier and it'll catch that you can see right there um, that's the jig in action of vibrating material so that the heavy material drops to the bottom and then it's scooped right off and um, you can see here in a moment we put our hand down and we dug up some of the material down below and we found a sapphire in there. So Don you were telling us about the amount of material that you have to move to get a sapphire. So we generally run a hundred yards before we clean out. And How many scoops is that of them? That's loader. 20 scoops. 20 scoops. Of the front loader. And then before you clean it out. And which is the equivalent of uh, 4,000 five gallon buckets. 4,000 five gallon buckets. And, and we'll generally get uh, between two or 300 carats of sapphires. Now that's sapphire rough. Uh, and how much of that is facet grade? Usually about 15 to 20 percent. So you so think about it, even if it was 200. So you're getting about 30 carats, 30, 40 carats. of facet grade yeah. rough. See, that, that's the scarcity that we're dealing with. And so there's a lot of material that has to be moved to find those gems. After a long couple of days of work, you can see some of the gems we picked up. Beautiful Montana sapphires. There's some pinks in there, there's some color change, and some teal and some light green. And what would beautiful Montana be without a big sky sunset? I hope you enjoyed this informative video. And if you would like more information about Montana sapphires or any other gems, feel free to reach out to us anytime.